mechanism of choice and now I am going to explain the second mechanism of choice. The second mechanism of choice, why it came into being? When we see there is a rationale that when we work under the market forces, there can be a reason of the accumulation of the wealth and there can be the accumulation of the power in certain market agents. So, under the accumulation of that power and that force and the wealth, there can be the imbalance in the economy. So, to cover that inequality and that imbalance, we require certain correcting measures and the regulation. So, those correcting measures and the regulation, they will be provided by certain agencies. So, these agencies and the institutions that will work to regulate the markets, they will be under the government intervention. The concept of the government intervention was first provided by the Karl Marx in his books Das Kapital, where he emphasized the intervention of the governments to overcome the market failures being provided in the markets through the excessive utilization of the market structures. So, Karl Marx has proposed the theory of the government intervention, but at the same time, he was not that much in the favor because he was of the view that the overutilization of these government forces or the government intervention, it also may lead to the accumulation of or the excessive utilization of the certain powers and it can lead to certain classification or the groups in the society and the markets. And then it came the John Maynard Keynes who also proposed the government intervention, but government intervention can come, come up with the certain policies and these policies they are summed up in the form of taxation, regulations, and at the same time for money matters, the monetary policies. At the same time, government has not only to make the regulations or the tax structures, government has to provide the social infrastructure and the physical infrastructure. So, markets has to work, but for the facility, markets has to be provided by certain infrastructures. हम आज भी अगर देखें तो किसी भी मार्केट्स में मुख्तलिफ एजेंट्स जिसको अगर हम कहें दुकानदार मौजूद हैं कारखाना हैदार मौजूद हैं सरमायादार मौजूद हैं कंज्यूमर जाता है लेकिन इन तमाम को सहूलत के साथ काम करने के लिए जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर होगा जिसको हम सड़कों की शक्ल में कह सकते हैं स्मूथ ट्रैफिक की शक्ल में हम कह सकते हैं हमारा आई का सिस्टम अगर हम कहें हमारा टेलीफोन का सिस्टम अवेलेबल होना हमारे लिए सेल फोन की फैसिलिटीज होना ये वो है जिसको हम स्ट्रक्चर कहें तो दीज स्ट्रक्चर दे आर मोस्टली प्रोवाइडेड बाय गवर्नमेंट एंड इफ नॉट प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट प्रोवाइड द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन फॉर द मार्केट्स टू कम अप टू डील विद दीज इशूज एंड अंडर दो सर्टन रूल्स सो दो रूल्स दो स्ट्रक्चर एंड द सिस्टम provided by the government that will be working under the government interventions. So that will be one extreme that there can be government interventions 100% and on the other hand we can say the only market structures but mostly these two they work side by side.